Whatever this thing is, it can manipulate time in a very particular way. Creating stable time corridors in the middle of a temporal maelstrom isn't easy. But the corridors we used before... They brought us right back to the TARDIS. How does that work? It's like being caught in a whirlpool. So the way we really tried to make the characters and the environments and sets actually come alive for the gaming audience was we really wanted to make sure that we delivered the authenticity. So it was very important to get the actors involved. We went into the recording studios with Alex um, to record the voiceover. If you want this, you'll have to come and get it. River Song has a lot of riverisms, which she uses to tease the Doctor with and to, to try and uh, make him flustered or embarrassed. Oh, I do so love a happy ending, don't you? When we came to film, we had built uh, the TARDIS set, uh, enabling Matt to really move around it and to feel that he was on location within the TARDIS. So the wooden TARDIS console was built millimetre perfect to the real set. The whole planet. The motion capture suit has lots of little balls all over it, which enables uh, the uh, infrared cameras around the studio to pick up every second of his performance. And so the way he moved around the console, the way he threw himself around as a, as a stunt actor, we didn't ask him to do that. That performance came natural to him. There's a moment where he talks about the TARDIS being a very good girl. She's done something brilliant and he really likes what she's done. The way he did it was he kisses the console. She's a very good girl. We just didn't expect him to do it. It's a completely unique performance. And that is the beauty of having the real actor playing the Doctor. You get the Doctor. <laughs>